Okay, so hi guys, this is Grace and this reading is about um, another love connection reading where I will use a basic love reading and I will ask a particular, the particular question, will you end up together with your person? Now with this kind of reading, I'm, I'm going to read the current energy. So based on the current energy, that's how I'm going to predict what's going to happen for the future. But um, the current energy can always change. Therefore, the future can still change based on the decisions and the actions that your person and you will make. So there are three cards here. Card number one is a tourmaline, black tourmaline. Card number two is a clear quartz. Card number three is this white stone. Okay, so pick your card or crystal or stone that you're most drawn to and we'll get to your reading okay so for the people who pick card number one this is your reading as i said i will the the topic for today is will you end up together with your person that's currently in your mind but you the current energy i'm gonna base the prediction based on the current energy right now the current energy can always change based on the decision that you will make and the and also your person's decision and based on the choices and the actions that you, you both are going to make. So, we'll see. I'm going to use the format basic love reading on, on these cards. But, which I will read Feeling, your feelings for each other, how do you both see the connection, and how do you see each other. So, let's start. I'm going to use this deck for you. And I'm going to use this deck for your person. This deck here. First, I feel guided to get some messages. Messages from your person. From this deck here. I don't know why. I just feel guided to get, use this deck. So I'm going to do it. I know I haven't made it very safe for you. Please don't give up on me. Okay. okay. What else? Oh, I got two more here. I am your friend. It's painful seeing how quickly I can become your enemy. Talk to me like I'm someone you love. So, we'll get to this card later. Let's see first. Your feelings you have for each other. Your feelings towards your person. One card, please. Ace of Swords in reverse. How about your person's feelings towards you? Temperance in reverse. It was quick. I feel like your person is, um, you. they are more likely to admit their feelings or to say and express how they feel than you are. I feel like you're the one that's less likely to admit your feelings here. I 
And I feel like you're protecting yourself and you might not be fully honest with expressing how you truly feel here. Why? What happened? I feel like your person says it is scared. And with you, you're like, it's coming off the wrong way. Instead of saying I love you or like I care for you or I like you, instead of saying that, it's coming off the wrong way from your side where you're saying it's coming off as hurtful, something hurtful. Maybe it's coming off as like, I don't like you, even though that's not what you really mean for some reason. Clarifying your feelings towards your person. We have here the journey or the tr um, journey card in reverse. So is it, are you like trying to move on but you're not able to? Or you don't feel in control in this connection? Your, your person's feelings towards you is a temperance in reverse. There's emotions there. I feel like they're, sens they're sensitive. Maybe for some of you, you've already um, said an ultimatum, like, do you like me or do you not like me? You just, you have to tell me, is it a yes or is it a no? And they were like, okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to figure this out. Um, how much love can I offer right now? How much can I give to this person or to you? I said, yeah. They're thinking, how much love can I give to this person? They're thinking... Um, Maybe they're not balanced or solid enough to be able to offer love. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're saying, oh, please don't give up on me. I know I haven't made it very safe for you. Um, <laughs> this is where I'm getting, like, talk to me like I'm someone you love. Where it feels like you're not talking to them like you're someone that you, uh, that you care about, that you love. So that's why I feel like you may be just trying to be straightforward, but it's coming off as um, your words are coming off as not being gentle or a bit harsh. We have here the house in reverse. Maybe they're not ready to settle down or. They're worried so much about your differences with each other. I feel like it's not the question of like, do you have feelings or do you not? Because there's feelings there. It's more of a question of like, are we compatible? Is this going to work? They're worried about that more. How do you both see the connection? How do you see the connection? King of Swords. <laughs> you really have, to, you really are holding this sword here. How does your person see the connection? Knight of Pentacles. Oh, your person just want. I feel like it's not that they don't want you or they don't want this, but they want to take their time. They want to take it um, slow. Knight of Pentacles. 
it's about it's a solid offer you he wants to provide something solid like this house that's what this house represents here but he doesn't know if he can build he's got enough to be able to be, build this house for you whatever this represents a solid uh, offer here but he wants to give a solid offer he's thinking is this enough <laughs> he's counting maybe his finances or something in what can i offer do i have enough to offer i know i want to offer something solid i hope i have enough time please give me enough time to be able to give something that is worthy to you give something worthy to this connection build something and for with you you're like the king of swords how do you see this connection I don't know why you have a cold approach towards connection. Maybe it's not really that you're cold approach. It might it's coming off as cold to this person though. But I feel like you're trying to be practical in this connection with the King of Swords. King of Swords is practical, so how do you see this connection is You're thinking about it in a practical way. You're using your mind more than your emotions. Your mind more than your emotions. Um, and you just want... You don't want BS anymore. I'm hearing you don't want BS anymore. Um, maybe because you've been experienced a lot of BS in your life. So you don't want BS anymore in, in terms of relationship especially. How do you both see each other? I'll use this card. How do you see your person? The devil. How does your person see you? <laughs> it's dark. Both of these cards are dark. This is the card of death and resurrection in the reverse. You're very solid in a way that your person knows that your ch decision is not going to change. It's final. They know that your decision is going to change and it's final. That's how they see you. Do they like it? I feel like they like it in a way where you don't you don't play. It's like um, you know what you want and you know your needs and your wants. Maybe in the previous connection that this person had, his he or she has been with people that don't know what they want and need in their connection in their relationship. So your person might find it hard to provide to, to those other people. Like, what do you really need? What do you want? What should I do? What should I not do? But for you, it's very clear. So the, this person likes that. How you see your person is a devil. <laughs> I feel like... You're worried if this person's hiding something. Like if you if you're like telling them, or oh, if you're hiding something, you're gonna tell you gotta tell them tell me now, so we know. But you're very very attractive. This attracted to this attracted to this person. 
you're very very attracted to this person and i feel like it's mutual the attraction is mutual i feel like it hasn't reached that deep deep i love you energy deep in connection but it has a potential to do to do that to reach that point obviously if you both will allow so that's what we're gonna find out will you end up together with this person I feel like you have a fear that this person might turn out to be someone like you've made some wrong decisions, wrong choices of people before and you feel like it's just going to be another person that's going to be a wrong choice again. You don't want that anymore. So will you end up together with this person? It is very likely it's very likely you'll end up with this person yeah i'm hearing this i'm hearing opening of the heart or you're gonna be um you're gonna be softer in a way in a good way softer in a good way because this person is gonna help you heal the pain or the heartbreak I feel like this person has good intentions. Their intentions that it, it doesn't like just because they they cannot um, be ready right now right away when you told when you tell them to be ready or just because they cannot ex cannot like um, or they weren't able to make it very safe for you right away doesn't mean that they don't have good intentions. They were like I feel like they were just a bit shocked. Like okay um <laughs> even panicking i feel like they care about this to be honest you're more likely to leave this person than this person will leave you we leave you i feel like there will be some spiritual awakening with this connection for both of you it feels like you're gonna gain a lot of wisdom and you're both gonna nourish each other and i feel like it's it's gonna be a long-lasting one it has a potential to be a long-lasting connection because i can see like there's two people here They're still together, even though through the harsh times, <laughs> through the snow here with the Five of Pentacles. Harsh times could be anything, anything. Could be finances too, because of the Five of Pentacles here. But I feel like both of you are going to be able to heal each other. Especially you with the healing heart here. With, with um, the... three of swords i'm saying it's not gonna be smooth sailing like with all connections anyway there are some challenges sometimes it's very very good um very good sometimes there's challenges but i feel like you'll be able to last those um you'll be able to those challenges will only make your connection stronger and you'll be able to last so it still depends on your decision and choices, so it's up to you, but I'm saying it's a potential that you'll be together or you end up together with this person. So what's the guidance from spirit for today? Don't take anything for granted. I love that he has another sword again. I feel like it's all about honesty and communication and I feel like it's coming more from your side. 
You want the honest and communication. If you want honesty and communication, it has to come from you. Especially with the Ace of Swords in the reverse with your feelings. Okay? Maybe you're protecting yourself. So that's why you're not very outright about your feelings. But um, don't take anything for granted. Don't take this connection for granted. Don't take this person for granted. Appreciate every li every little thing. Let's see in the book what else this will tell us. So if there's anything else. If you are called to serve, step up to the plate. Acknowledge the gift as a borrowed energy that can be a grail of creative possibilities. If used with a sense of responsibility, otherwise it will disappear into the mist. So take it and interpret it how it, how you want to interpret it. This is your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how this resonated for you. And if you want a personal reading, you can book through the booking link down below. Or in the down below in the description box or in the pinned comment. So, bye. Also, if you're still watching, the giveaway is still on until the 21st of June. So, check out the description box down below or the pinned comment for more info. Okay, card number two for the clear quartz people. Let's see. First, I'll do it like I did for the first word of card. For the people, pick card number one. So I'm going to get some messages from your person. As I said already in the introduction, this will you end up together with your person. I'm going to do it last. But um, as I said, it depends on your choices, decisions, and actions. You and your persons. Okay? Whether what the future will hold. But this is just a predict prediction based on the current energy. So what does your person want to say? All I want is for you to listen to me with an open heart. I feel like they have, they're trying their best to open their heart. What else? <laughs> You're being a bully. In reverse. Maybe sometimes you are. I don't know if they're telling you that because it's in reverse. Or they don't want to tell you that because you might take it in a wrong way. <laughs> For some of them, to be honest, I, I feel like I they like that you sometimes bully them in a playful way. I feel like someone, you or your person, is trying to annoy each other in a playful way. And it's just whoever is annoying the, per the you, uh, who, whoever is annoying the other person finds it cute. So whether you annoy your person, you find it cute, or your person annoys you and they find it cute. Um, all I'm feeling right now is your position. I need you to come back so I can relate to you, not your position. Hmm. Are you in a higher position, like literally with your person in terms of work or like career? Here, your person needs you to come back so they can relate to you, not your position. So this will be your card. This will be your person's card. And I'm going to do a basic love reading first. Your feelings for each other. So your feelings to your... Your feelings... Towards your person. Get the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Your person's feelings towards you.
Four of Swords. Hmm. Clarifying this. I find the Wheel of Fortune reversed. <laughs> Got the Wheel of Fortune again with the ring and the Magician in reverse. I don't know if I should take this card, but I got too many cards, so I'm gonna do it again. Oh, I got the ring. Like, the spirit's telling me to focus on, like, my guy's telling me to focus on this ring here, the circle. And then I got the circle again here, like, it's like a ripple. To me, it reminds me of a ripple. And it also talks about karma. Karma is not always bad or or good. Um, when you, as I was, I was reading about karma on the book that I'm reading, and it's it talks about um, looking at karma in a way where you, if you did something bad, you're gonna be punished for it, and it it will come back to you. Of course, it will come back to you, but it's an immature way of looking into it. Karma, you know, is is that if like also if you do good, it will come back to you. Karma is there for us to grow. A more mature way of looking at karma is is it's it's for lessons and it's for growth. And everything is balancing out. Everything will balance out. If that makes sense. So, how does that relate to your feelings towards your person? Do you treat them the way they treat you? Maybe you do. So, if they treat you bad, do you treat them bad? Um, they get what they deserve. Maybe that's how you express your feelings. If you if you they're very very good to you, they they get a treat. They you treat them the same way. Maybe you're trying to be fair like that. You're only giving to this person how much they're giving to you. The ripples remind me of the quote where they say like, kindness is like a ripple. And it, will, it doesn't only affect you, but it affects like a lot of people. It grows. I feel like um, this person might be growing on you. Your connection is your connection, or your your feelings towards your this person is growing. It's growing. It's getting there. They're becoming a big part of your life. There are still some lessons, and this person triggers you. Still. But it's for the it's for the learning, it's for the lessons here and learning. We got a lot of like um here having with the book. So it, they look like they're studying. The four of swords here. Your person's feelings towards you. We got the children. I got the bully here and like feeling like children. You know how children like um it's when they try to bully each other sometimes it's banter. Sometimes it's just they're being playful. They feel at peace with your with with you in this connection. They feel at peace. 
they it, i feel like this person does not they this person might feel like they ignore you sometimes but they they're very at peace sometimes they it, it might feel like this person taking you for granted like they're they become so i forgot the right term the right word but they become so comfortable in this connection that they don't try hard or they don't make enough effort anymore that's when it becomes not very good when your person becomes like that but i feel like this person don't feel like searching for another lover or another person anymore because they're good they're good with you they're comfortable in this connection in this relationship um and they're happy so maybe they just, they just need to um, put more effort let's see that's her that's their feelings How do you see the connection? We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Oh, maybe you you guys need to spice things up with the Knight of Wands here in reverse. Like we need some action here. You feel like there needs to be some action with Knight of Wands here in reverse. And this could be like sexually too with the Knight of Wands. We. Like, who wants it? Like, maybe, you know, you don't want it to be boring. Who wants it to be boring? Um, how about your person? They're, how do they see this connection with you? Oh, I got the Ace of Wands. You just tell them. You tell them, and they'll do it. They're just very comfortable and you'd like to for them to make the effort on their own but sometimes sometimes we gotta we gotta nudge them to the right direction you gotta tell them your needs this is my needs and my wants this is my needs and my wants okay you gotta tell them that so that they know because i feel like this person's ready like you tell me what you want i'll do it for you with the ace of wands okay it's sexually car I, I feel this something sexual here as with the ace of wands and the knight of wands with this connection okay they're like telling you okay i'm not gonna um i'm not a psychic i can read your mind so you tell me It's quite funny, to be fair. Um, okay. So, how do you both see each other? I'm gonna use this card. How does... Do you see your person? As a fox. You, you see your person as a fox, but in reverse. They change. They probably change. Some, before, they be, they were so adventurous, so like um sneaky and playful and like they try different things new things with you but now they don't not that because they 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 like you less but because they become too comfortable okay so you gotta tell them that's how you see your person the fox in reverse how how does your person see you We have here the balance card. I believe this is a balance card. It reminds me of a temperance card in reverse. So we have there this balance card in reverse. So does your person see you as sometimes ungrounded?
or I feel like they, they get confused because you like a lot of things. You seem like you, lot of, you like a lot of things and they don't know which one you like at a certain moment, at a certain time. How do they see you? They see you as like, what do you really want? They see you as someone as like confused. What do you really want? Just tell me what you want so I can give it to you. You have a lot of opportunities for you. You have a lot of choices. But sometimes you don't see that. And maybe it's hard for you to balance your emotions sometimes. But th this person knows how much, how loving you are and how... How much you can give, how much love you can give. Then this person wants to move forward with you, but to what direction? they're like you tell me you tell me um so let's see will you end up together with this person by the way if you want to book a reading um i also add like what's blockages if you want to book like a basic love love reading which the which, which is the format that i'm using here I also add some blockages and what you both need to heal. And also you can add your questions. You could also do, do the in-depth love reading with more information. So, or even just a one question reading. The booking link is in the description box or in the pinned comment down below. So, will you end up together with your person? Yeah, Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Reverse, and the Six of Cups, Reverse. It's telling me more of a no. Only based on the current energy right now, it's more leaning to a no. Why? Because an event, a certain event might prevent this that will um hopefully this person will not be harmed in any way but i'm just getting like this per um something will happen that will prevent this person you ending up together with this person because of Getting their health or the on a, or an event, and someone coming back from the past. Someone's coming back in the past, and I feel like there's a there's a third person here with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's preventing this energy to for you to end up together with this person. But I feel like you will share a lot of good memories with this person. So is it worth it? Is the experience worth it? Of course it is. But it will still depend on, as I said, your choices and decisions with this person of you really ending up together. But I'm just sensing a lot of like blockage energy here.
like someone from the past coming back and people not telling each other the truth the whole truth and there's fighting and there's that could potentially happen and someone will be left might be left alone so I'm also getting, like, this is not for everyone, that if you don't end up with this person or you, this person doesn't end up with you, some, one of you will, like, choose to be single. Just choose to be single. Not be in a relationship, any relationship anymore in the future. So what's the guidance from spirit here? Shave, shift, transform, experience a new reality. Is it saying like a new, it's a new connection? Or don't limit yourself with this connection or this person? Maybe, if it's not fulfilling all your needs, like why not? Don't limit yourself. Attune with another species to gain an expanded perspective of yourself and your senses. This has been done by shamans or shamankas for thousands of years. Bring back this knowledge to incorporate into your everyday life. So what do you really feel? What do you really want? What do you desire? What do you really feel? You go from that. So that's your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below how this resonated for you and what kind of readings you want to see next. Goodbye. For the people, pick card number three. This is your reading. Let's see. As I said, I'm only reading the current energy. To predict the future energy so if your current energy changes your decisions and choices and actions especially changes um then the, the future might change so let's see this will be your card this will be your person's card i'm gonna use the basic love reading format that i use here first let's see any messages from your person from this deck here They forgive you. I beg you to hear this as me truly wanting you to register my feelings, not as an attack on you. So they're saying they have feelings. So there's feelings here. I forgive you completely. It never happened. Your behavior was threatening to me. I'm trying to tell you about it, not to make you feel bad, so I, but so I can feel close to you again. If this, any of the messages triggering, reflect on this messages. If they don't really make sense to you, maybe it's not for you. So I'm going to just put it there. I'm not going to try to interpret them. You interpret them if, that, if that's, if you think the message is for you. Um, let's start with the, your feelings for each other. Your feelings towards your person. You got a tower here in the reverse. Wow. That is huge. That is like, whoa, like intense. <laughs> I feel like this person came into your life and it's so intense. Intense feelings here. I don't know if you've been through like um, meeting each other and then an intense separation. In, but the feelings, the intense feelings are still there kind of a um, story I see your person's feelings towards you 
King of Swords. They're trying to express their feelings in a way that it has that has integrity. They're saying I'm trying to be have be honest and trying to have integrity here. I'm trying to I feel like this person's like telling you this is I've reflected on this and I've changed and I've matured and I've grown and this is me trying to give you closure. I'm I'm also getting that so what um let's get some clarifier so that it will i uh, trying to and this person trying to say tell you like i'm trying my best to provide clarity to tell you with clarity my feelings <laughs> i got the lightning card in the reverse again which is like to me it's very similar right with a tower here with the lightning and i got I got the same card again. So to me, it's just the same. This is just me. This is my... Um, so I clarified it and I got the similar card again. So to me, it's about... A clarification from Spirit that I'm saying the right things. So... And I might not need to add any more. You thought this connection is broken, but it's not really broken. You thought you don't have feelings maybe for this person, but you still have feelings for this person. And it doesn't easily go away. How about your person? Clarifying your person's feelings towards you. The person that you have in mind. As I said... They've retreated, they've reflected, they've grown, and they they matured. And I feel like they're ready, or they're getting ready to express this to you. It seems like they're trying to trust their intuition. This connection have opened up this person's intuition. There's something so spiritual about this connection. The La Lune is about, to me, it's about inner reflection. It's about secrets as well. So hopefully secrets will be revealed within this, um, within this person's feelings. They're trying their best to find clarity and make sense of this. And I feel like they finally ma did make sense of this connection. Um, or, or did make sense of these feelings. Let's see more of like how you both see the connection. How do you see the connection with this person? I like when the cards are this. It feels like there's magic because there, there's really magic here. Um, because of the similar cards appearing. But um, how do you see the connection is a Ten of Swords? How does your person do you see the connection with you? Is the hero fun? They've evolved. As I said, they get a lot of they gain gain a lot of wisdom and they matured. To the hero fund here. They've been even like this this connection have taught them so much that they've evolved to the hero fund and from the king of swords to the hero fund here. And they uh, they probably are practicing whatever they learned from this connection to teach to others. Or they want to do that. Or they're ready to do, to do that. With you. How did you see it in your perspective? In this connection. You feel... Devastated. To them, it seems like it's a pos it's positive. Like there was some darkness here, but they've reflected. And to you, it's like tower moment, tower moment, structure. Going, uh, it feels like you went to the rock bottom as well. Whatever structure you built, maybe for some of you, you've been with another person before. And that connection was broken with the other person because you met this person. 
that you that is in your mind right now so it has broken this connection that you have with maybe a karmic person and um it was it was quite devastating it was it has hurt you but i feel like it is there's still hope here so you're getting ready for your rebirth i feel it feels like the consequences of the action are hit you hard but it has to happen so let's see how you both see each other how you both see this person too much card like that. how you see your person this person gives you hope though despite all the darkness here this your structure being broken and all that this person gives you hope wow i was talking about hope here with the light here and then we got the hope which is for which represents your person period <laughs> that's how you see your person and there's something spiritual about this connection as i said something to do with the star because it's a star card so it provided some healing for you this connection um Okay, this connection helped to take away the negative or that what toxic in your life to cleanse what's toxic in your life that's why it's very cleansing and very healing this connection have triggered that or this person have triggered that rather so you can start again on a new beginning on a um on a clean plate clean plate is that the term but yeah so how about your person how does your person see you how does your person see you they see you as the lion they see that you have capable of a lot of lead capable of leadership that you're very strong that you have a lot of fire in you you have a lot of wildness in you but if you're able to to but this person see that you have a lot of potential if you're able to put a lot of that energy that fire within you that anger within you into good like transmute or use that energy to the to good or for bettering yourself or for bettering your life then you're going to be able to succeed that's how your person sees you because your person really respects you like see you as royalty even with the lion here they see you have a lot of confidence in you you have a lot of strength in you and there's some, as I said, there's some wildness there. But if you're able to use it for the good, for the betterment of yourself, then it's, it's really good. Maybe you're able to, to do that. <laughs> like a lion here. Anyway. Well, you end up together with your person. You end up with this person. If you want a similar format you can book a personal reading with me and the booking link is in the pinned comment down below or in the description box so check that out i still have a giveaway so uh, until 21st of june 2020 all you have to do is dm me on my instagram the empress tarot 2222 the information will be down below in the pin comment also in the, or in the description box so let's see will you end up with your person 
We have the Temperance card. The Ten of Wands. And the Knight of Wands. It feels like with the Knight of Wands here, after the Ten of Wands, bringing back the life. It, this connection has brought back the life. Brought back life. Makes your life worth feel like it's worth living. Yeah. Um, brought back the life like that or you also I feel like it's mutual so um, you, you've also you you were all you're able to bring back life to this person um, that that light that fire and meeting this per and you and they also were able to bring back light and fire and make you feel like life is worth living with the night of wands here that passion i'm talking about that passion for life um will you end up together yes it's a high possibility that you will end up with this person yes based on the current energy right now like people have taken accountability for their actions and I feel like that's the key. If you take accountability for your actions or for the mistakes, because we all make mistakes, we're not perfect. So as long as we're learning from whatever it is, the experience, that's what's important. And we're taking out accountability for our actions, as I said. And I feel like you need to share it with each other. The responsibilities in this connection. You need to share it don't take all the um this is about with the ten of wands here this is about learning to share the responsibilities learning to not be responsible for everyone for for everything anymore it's about sharing it's about balance with the temperance here and i feel like you'll be able to figure that out with your person how to work with your person you figure out each other's strengths and weakness and you're going to be able to um, fill each other's gaps. Okay, your strength might be your person's weakness, so you're going to be able to fill their weakness and vice versa. There will be a lot of like fresh starts and a lot of new beginning here. But as long as you balance, your emotions are balanced with the physical. It will be this connection will has the potential to be very fulfilling, emotionally and materially, if it's balanced. The quest for the emotions, for love, and the quest for the material. I don't know if this is making sense right now, but um. It will make sense. Hopefully, it will make sense to so the person is meant to hear this. And there's a lot of adventure. There's still a lot of adventure here. There's a lot of surprises. Also. Travel. Get it. Okay. So, the guidance. Words cannot express it. I actually forgot to read the guidance, so I'm reading it now, but I'll try to edit this into the reading. So you probably see this edited into the reading. But words cannot express it. What's the guidance from spirit to you? Adapt to things. Adapt to things is the message and I feel like words words will not be able to express it how happy you will be with this person. Um, I'm getting that kind of feeling. Like it's it's quite overwhelming but in a good way. Use your sacred sight to see, look with your soul, the portal will open. 
That's the message. That's additional message. So, yeah. That's the guidance card. From Spirit. So that's your reading. Thank you so much for watching this reading. Um, and let me know in the comments down below how this res resonated for you and what kind of readings you want to see next. Goodbye.